everyone, welcome. Today I am going to focus on the perfumes that have garnered me the most compliments. This doesn't necessarily mean that these are my favorite perfumes or even perfumes I wear that often, but they get noticed for whatever reason. And so before I continue, please, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button. So to get started, some of these perfumes you all might be familiar with, some you all may not have heard of, but strictly basing these on, you know, comments I have gotten from folks. So to start with, um, one here you guys probably are very familiar with is Giorgio Armani C. This one, I was in my office, the IT guy came in there to fix my computer, and the first thing he said was, these smell good. And of course, like, IT guys are nerdy, they're not into perfume. Sorry, I should not make that judgment. IT guys may love perfume. I'm just saying I just feel like that's not something they typically would notice or care about. But anyway, he commented on this and it always stuck with me. So Giorgio Armani C is beautiful, period. I don't wear it that much for whatever reason, um, probably because I have so many perfumes. I don't wear everything that I have often. Like I have a few, like maybe half a dozen that I'll keep in rotation and I need to work on that and get into everything that I have. But that said, he loved this one and that has always stuck with me. But I mean, it's just a beautiful perfume. I only think I did like a spritz or so because it's, you know, a work environment because he was kind of over my shoulder. He smelled it, he liked it. So that has always stuck with me. And generally, you know, this is a beautiful perfume and I think, you know, most people would love it. And it's backwards this whole time. Um, so Giorgio Armani C, compliment getter. All right, this one, one of my best friends at work commented on, this is uh, Amali by Swiss Arabian. Let me go over the notes in this one. And flipping back to C really quick, it has vanilla, some bergamot, and a rolly jasmine patchouli. And I'm not gonna go through the notes of all of these. Some of you guys may know a lot of these, or you may not, but the point is, these are just ones that have garnered compliments, and I might hit on a few of the notes. So. This is um, from Swiss Arabian, this is Amali, and we have caramel, lemon notes, apple, what else do we have in here? Um, amber, some rose, and it's powdery, but it's so beautiful. It's like literally delicious. And we were having like a face-to-face -face meeting and she was kind of, you know, sitting in a chair across from my desk and she was like, you smell good. She was like, what is that? And this was the first day I had worn a Molly and that sticks in my head. So this is a gorgeous perfume. It just, it's just delicious. I don't know what else to say about this one, but you know, it's sometimes the not usual suspects that will get the compliments because I don't have a lot of designer perfumes, maybe like 10 or so, which to some people may be a lot, but I have a lot of perfume and I don't have a hoard of designer. But what's interesting is, you know, here and there, like Giorgio Armani got a compliment, but generally it's like the niche perfumes or ones that are just really random that tend to get noticed for whatever reason. So this is um, Swiss Arabian Amali, really, really pretty. Moving on here, um, I have talked about this in at least a couple videos, the compliments that this one has garnered. This is uh, Flora by Gucci. I have told the story a couple times about walking down the street and some dudes were waiting, you know, on the bus or in front of a store or whatever, and they were like, you smell really good. And I have always remembered that. That was a couple years ago. So this is Flora by Gucci. And some of the notes in this one are rose, peony, patchouli, sandalwood. It's a beautiful perfume. It is potent, as I have said, you know, in previous videos. Don't ever, I'm just saying, do more than like two spritzes of this because it is strong it's absolutely beautiful a beautiful beautiful floral but it is potent and i feel like you do two sprays and somebody across the room is going to smell you so if you're hitting you know more than two sprays of this it might be a little bit much but it's absolutely gorgeous so compliment getter gucci floor my next one some of you guys don't know about it. Some of you may have heard of it previously. Queen by Queen Latifah. I will always love this perfume. And I had previously commented that I wish she had done a different bottle for this because it doesn't get the justice that it is due. It is such a pretty perfume. Tonka Bean Absolute. 
incense. Um, there's vanilla bourbon in here. What else is in here? Um, where'd she go? Where'd she go? Okay. Um, okay, vanilla bourbon, bergamot, patchouli. There's a mandarin in here. Just reading the notes years back before I got this, I was just so entranced just with the notes upon reading it. And when I smelled this, Oh, it is so beautiful. And if any of you guys, which I feel like you don't, um, if any of you all have Queen, I think one of my subscribers does have Queen. You did compliment on it, but um, comment on it. Compliment on it. You did comment that you had a uh, Queen. This is so pretty. And I know that they don't make this anymore. And I know they sell it, you know, randomly on eBay or what have you. But it's such a beautiful, sweet and sexy perfume. And so, yeah getting on the elevator had this on guy in the corner you know it's telling me how good i smell and i did mix this with another perfume but overwhelmingly this was the one that kind of stood out so i gotta give props to queen by queen latifah it is beautiful if you guys can find it anywhere for cheap please check it out because you don't know what you're missing this is beautiful and totally underrated okay queen by queen latifah what we got over here? And I talked about this one also before. This is Arabelle um, Moline Sufi. This came from uh, Anthropology, and I think it was specifically for Anthropology. Um, absolutely beautiful. This one, let's go over the notes. And I have got to have notes for all these perfumes. Okay, Magnolia, Jasmine, Vanilla Orchid. Very simple and straightforward, but this one has garnered compliments out on the street going to lunch with a co-worker they were commenting how beautiful I smelled and what a beautiful fragrance it was and I had to think for a second because this is one that I just kind of spritz on it's not one of my fancy ones or you know one that just absolutely sticks out to me so I had to think for a second what it was that I actually had on and so it was Arabelle and it is beautiful and yes indeed when the wind hits it and you get a nice whiff it's it's beautiful so this was a compliment getter and I am not sure if Anthropology still sells this. I don't think so. It was part of like a collection, um, like they had perfumes based on different females names, but this is Arabelle, really, really gorgeous. This one I just got recently and have already gotten compliments from two of my girlfriends um, when we dared to be in the office right before we got you know, kind of quarantined, but this is Lalique Amour, Le Amour, and I've seen one other perfume reviewer comment on this. It is absolutely beautiful, but it's so simple. And I had this on at work simply because it's so inoffensive and easy. Going over the notes in this one, let's see, we have bergamot, rose, some amber, cedarwood, sandalwood, some other floral notes in here, but it's so easy and so pretty and and you know anybody who knows me know i'm the bottle queen and i just thought this was so beautiful i have two other lalique perfumes one of them is back here um which one is that one soleil back there the little pretty big one that looks like cut glass back there um and then i have la Bessier, which is a rose one so this is my third Lalique and they just never disappoint. I haven't tried all of them, but the ones that I have, I absolutely love. So this has been a compliment getter. Just got this one this past March. So, so, so pretty. You guys definitely need to try this out. Um, not expensive either. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. So check this one out. Let's see what else we got over here. This one is another non-usual suspect. This is Vince Camuto Fiore. And I was walking through the kitchen at my workplace and going to my office and somebody smelled the trail of perfume behind me, one of my girlfriends, and they're like, you smell so good. And this one stuck out because of that. This is not one that I wear often, but it is absolutely, it's just a pretty, pretty perfume. There are florals, freesia, there's some berries in here. Um, I don't think, I, yeah, I wrote the notes for this one. Let's see pink grapefruit iris freesia cedar sandalwood again i don't have all the notes for this one but those are some of them it's just pretty i mean it's pretty and it's a little more complex to the point where i can't call it just an easy perfume but it's so just it's just very feminine let's just put it like that really pretty really feminine and also pretty inexpensive so 
This is also a compliment garner Vince Camuto Fiori. Two more over here. This one is a recent acquisition also. And we're going to do something different. I compliment myself on this one. Okay. This is Mongolan. Beautiful. When I'm walking through the house in quarantine, I'm like, Deb, you smell really good. So I compliment myself. So I'm going to put this one in the group. This is, uh, again, Mongolan. And going over some of the notes in here, we have um, lavender, vanilla, iris, sandalwood, jasmine, rose, patchouli, licorice, tonka. And I commented in another video, I was so new to the party on this perfume. But now that I'm in the party, I know what's going on with this perfume. It is beautiful and it garners compliments from me, which is what matters the most, right? If we like it, then that's what counts. So... This one, wherever you go, I just feel like it's going to be a compliment getter. And I know a lot of you all are familiar with this one anyway. And this is the Oudou Toilette. I have the Oudou Parfum, this, the one ounce. Um, that one's a little richer. And I do like that one a little bit more because it is a little bit richer and just a little bit sweeter. But this one is so beautiful also. Either one, I don't feel you can go wrong. I got this one because it was on sale. Nordstrom had a sale like a month or so ago. So I scoop this one up but so beautiful love it love it love it and last one over here this one has always gotten compliments this is just like a classic this is chloe and it is oxidizing i need to polish my little silver on here but chloe is to me just like a classic and let me see the notes in chloe if i was smart enough to write them down mandarin some melon freesia rose lily of the valley amber Come on, y'all. I know a lot of you guys have this one. And if you love it, let me know. But yeah, this one has always just garnered compliments because I wear this like if I have meetings or if we have a conference because it's pretty and it's noticeable. But I can't even think of anyone that could even remotely be offended by this one. Just really pr pretty, pretty floral. Um, and it has some richness to it. But so yeah, good old Chloe. So those are my current compliment getters and, you know, I'm always adding to the collection. But as I say, if you love it, compliment yourself and, you know, put those in your own little group of perfumes that get compliments, not just from other people, but ones that you love. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hope you are staying safe. I will check you out in the next one. So see you guys later. Bye.